reevaluate. Uh, like uh, Rick Perry was talking when he was about to run, we have to start from scratch. All foreign policy, all funding overseas, we need to scratch. We need to start from scratch. Uh, we have made, for example, I'll give you one quick example about Iran and Egypt. In 1979, when the people in Iran revolted against Shah of Iran, who was a tyrant, he was forcing people to do things against their will. And we stood with Shah of Iran. At that time, now compare that to Obama again. I'm not a big fan of Obama, but he has done a lot of good things. In Egypt, when Mubarak, the tyrant, was going on and on and on, the Egyptian public were against him. What did Obama do? He told Mubarak to step down. That was the right thing to do. So the message the Egyptians got was that Americans are with us, the people of Egypt, not with the tyrant who is forcing us. They got that message. And let me go back to Iran now. When um, I love Jimmy Carter, he's my, one of my most humanitarian presidents, but I think he, whatever situation he was, instead of telling Shah of Iran, hey guy, step down, none of this animosity would have ever occurred because the Iranian people were always good to us, were always friendly with us. They would have seen that, look, America is not with the guy who is oppressing us. They're with us. Then why would they be enemies with us? So we made that mistake, and the similar mistake would have happened if Obama had not told Mubarak to step down. Egyptians are not anti-American. They would have if we had sided with Mubarak. So this is a very clear contrast of how goofy our foreign policy is. And all of us are responsible for it because we are not speaking up. We need to speak up and fix those things. Uh, I guess that answers your question. Is the foreign policy. Can you hear me? Uh, I think this is a non this is a non controversial